Welcome to Call of Duty Blackout Guides, aka Blacked Out, a series of guides for you playing Call of Duty Blackout, the Battle Royale for Black Ops 4. Today we're going to talk about wingsuiting and you and what you're probably doing wrong and how you can fix it. So, raise your hand if you dive down to 70 meters a second and then after diving down to 70 meters a second you would then pull up and you'll then go about 64 meters a second to your total distance. So as it turns out, I'm not entirely sure if this is an animation bug, if this will be fixed in the future or what the deal is, but when you jump out of the helicopter, if you immediately start your dive down, when you see the character's animation start to fold his hands to the side and close his legs so that he's no longer wingsuiting, you'll notice that you'll start to pick up speed. The moment you hit about 50 meters a second, you can go ahead and start pulling up just like you would regularly and look vertically up in the air uh, to start flying the distance. You'll still get up to about 64 meters a second uh, in relative speed. There's really no difference. This method, instead of going down to 70 meters a second and then pulling up, will allow you to fly nearly five and a half clicks or kilometers or squares. Each square is a kilometer on the map for those of you that are unaware. Uh, it'll allow you to fly five and a half, sometimes even six clicks across the entire map. Now, I don't know if this is just not a well-known thing. Uh, I don't know if it's just not an often practiced thing. Uh, but this is something that we started doing two or three days ago, and what we noticed was that we didn't notice anybody else around us or even in the areas in our vicinity. Especially on longer jumps that were a full five and a half to six kilometers away from the path of the helicopter. Now that's just for the purposes of long jumping, but keep that in mind whenever you're using your wingsuit guided jump that you can get a full five and a half to six kilometers using this method if you really want to go way out of the way from everybody else as far away as possible from the path of the helicopter. This is definitely going to ensure that you can do that. So now that you know how to go further than anybody else, let's talk about how you get there faster than anybody else. So when you're jumping for uh, the place that you want to land, you need to find a nice middle ground. This will be your fastest route there. There's a whole thing with curves that I could explain and how the middle curve is always the fastest because it's an average of both speed and distance. And that average of both speed and distance ultimately tails out to being shorter than the other two. I hope these two tips help you in getting to where your team or yourself want to land faster in blackout they've certainly been super helpful for me here lately with my team in terms of getting us to places where we want to be alone with each other or just by myself in general uh, and especially reaching the farther ends on the map they've been extremely helpful hope it was helpful to you if you did find this video helpful share it with your friends hit the subscribe button like the video and turn on notifications you can also come watch me play live over at twitch.tv forward slash g-u-n-z-g-a-m-e-s or you can watch me play live here on youtube just about every single day in the evening 6 p.m. est i'm guns i'll see you later have a good one guys gg